welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Wormroot Woods, where uh, we've come to face the challenge once again of guerrilla warfare. To prove that pint-sized punk, we are worth every bit of the dismissive glance we apparently gave him. <laughs> But of course, only the ranger can do this test. Before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Justin Jones, who says, I am going to, re to requisition your wall meat phase for, uh, phrase for my D&D campaign. Given that the campaign ultimately involves the far plane, I think wall meat is going to be used in a whole lot of my descriptions. You're welcome. I had to look up what the where the far plane was. I wasn't familiar with that from D&D, but... Hot damn! I think you, you picked a good place for it. It's like a universe designed by necromorphs. Alright. Yeah, go take that phrase with my blessing. Are you ready for the new challenge? The ordinary ranger... Uh, sorry, the ultimate ranger challenge isn't something an ordinary ranger can compete. You must hit every target. Are you ready? Man, all you had to do was shoot the damn targets. Rain oh my god. Oh my god, it's a fucking San Andreas reference. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, they are so good at doing that. Okay, okay, slap this button. Let's see. Yeah, that was very clearly meant to be uh, arrow flurry right there. Fuck. Okay. What? What the hell? Shit. I didn't think of that. I can't go past this line, but uh, Arrow Flurry doesn't reach far enough. How the hell am I meant to hit all of those? Does one of the other characters have a skill that puts explosives on there? Uh, where is it? Right, even upgrading Arrow Flurry to maximum doesn't, uh, increase the range. Fuck. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, Charge Arrow increases the damage range and piercing. I could already hit those. But, uh, that's how far they go if I don't charge it up all the way. That's even less far than the other one. So unless I can find a way to stand up there... Nope, that didn't work. Shit. This is like the house. I'm just not seeing what they're asking me to do. If it, it isn't the arrow flurry, and I can't fire this quickly enough... Jesus, and I already do have quick charge on. Non-ideal. Yeah, this feels like a non-starter. Fuck. Where am I going? Oh, look at that. There's a middle bit over there. Well, I can look at that. Oh, because they're only level 18. It is kind of weird to see the ones with crowns running, but oh, oh, that was the place. My bad. Oh shit, oh shit, it's nobody. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're all desperately running away. Hey there, have a free mana upgrade! Thanks, Onion Pie. Fairies and I'll have 90 mana as, uh, nobody. That's not nothing. 
There's a whole swath here I don't think I can get to. What level was the whale? Level 30. Wait, batty health times 0 0.75. Does that mean they have less health? Okay, dungeons then. Uh, 30. 30. 24. Oh, shit! 22. Well, I really should take care of the power plant, I guess. Okay, where am I? You know, I don't know that I've seen... Uh, hmm. A lot of the other games I've played lately with maps have a button to come back to me. It's especially useful on Starfield because I'm not always looking at the map at the same planet I'm uh, currently standing on. this place out. Just imagine, a hundred years from now, the new town could be just an ordinary town. Oh, I took that off. Wait, why did I put that there? Oh, right, I wanted to try out the, uh, head out against the puddles on the racetrack. Yes, if I could... Into the power plant. Morning Star Power Plant Demi Dungeon Level 22. I'm not quite up to Everyone Runs Away level. Oh, it's the Elite Monster! Vengeance is mine! Oh, God, there's so many of them! Keep on smashing! Roll it like it's a rolling pin! The dough is still lumpy! Hot damn! I think I picked the right form for this level. But, uh, let me take off Poison Dampener and swap that out for some nom nom, because there are a lot of guys around here, and I just want to be sure. Zero, zero, two, wait, Sector 7G, that's where Homer Simpson works in his nuclear power plant. And again, with the references today, zero, zero, two days since last nuclear meltdown. Amazing. What the hell? Apparently I never set myself to appear offline. How embarrassing. Oh, going cockroaches again. I guess that makes sense here. Oh, hey, maybe on second thought I should leave Poison Dampener on. Just a thought. There's goggles on the floor. And since no one is wearing them, by definition, that means those goggles do nothing. I don't even think that was an intentional reference, just that, uh... I wanted to make it. Boy, that was dumb of you. Better stand here, that guy will die eventually, so I'm going to turn into egg. He actually did drop something. I didn't think he would if I didn't, you know, kill him. Oh, I thought there was something written on the radiation symbol on the wall there, but it's just a random splat. Oh boy. Fight Brawn with Brawn! <laughs> Interrupted my attack animation. I don't appreciate that.
not what is that? Nine out of twenty times uh, for the pump up quest. Excellent. I guess I should put sharp damage on though. Uh, then second thought, one more level and I go up to thirty. I'm out. I'm actually outrunning the dungeons, and that feels really weird. I haven't had this feeling since World of Warcraft. There are a whole bunch of different zones of the different level ranges, so you don't actually get to experience them all with any one character. Very misty in here. Oh, hey. I'm sure these barrels don't have anything radioactive in them. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, you're doomed. How do you like it? Oh, you're a different kind of, uh, unliving. Satisfying. Wait, he makes the same ranged attack sound as the skulls do, but he's throwing his arms at them. Mostly them, at me. I mean, we are many, but we are also one. You know, like Legion. Yes, the cannon guys, of course. Okay, I got this. on the dodge there, avoiding attacks and what counts and what doesn't. I've never heard of a nuclear power plant with its own coat of arms, anyway. So the castle was a giant, uh, no-head, spinny guy. I want to say the boss of the robot was a big cannon guy. The boss of the Witch Queen's, uh, catacombs was... Oh, oh, the mage! That's right, the cat mage. The giant cat mage. Shadows, this place are green. Oh shit. Didn't see 
the uh, clutter on the floor. Oh, full mana, look at that. Fuck, I forgot those guys knew that. Always forget how heavy the uh, the ones with crowns floating over their heads are. They're not really floating over their heads, it's next to their health bars, but whatever. Hmm. You think that wildly gyrating needle on the dial there is uh, something to be concerned about as I stand in a green puddle? Um. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. Get them! It is actually almost frightening how effective these guys are. chest down there. Ooh, a nice one. Got my way. Ooh, $150 and a bunch of stuff. Oh shit, I got a ton of tokens. I didn't even... I've not been paying close enough attention to that, apparently. 41 tokens. I've literally got more tokens than I know what to do with. That's okay, I'll just improvise again. To work the last two times. Oop. Okay, so this is gonna be an important room. Well, let's bunny it up. Oh, good, the fire breathers are here. Consume! Havoc with the rabbits, the cars. And for my next trick, I shall turn you inside out. Whether you want me to or not. Okay. Now it is hypothetically possible for them to get the uh, the power plant back under control. Oh wait, I'm gonna be in poison here. Oh no, I'm not. I cleared out the poison gas. Hell yeah. No, I haven't actually done the mound. Well, I can go do that. Looking at this place, and you know. Well, it's still covered in splatters of green ooze. There's fungus growing over the entrance, and I can see a crack on the cooling tower through which more fungus is poking, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not this place is cleansed for this time, but... This place could be cleansed. Now it's a hypothetical. All right, I'll pass those quests in. Fine. Dungeon Morningstar Power Plant. Redeem. Up to 30. Level up! 
2,500 health. Unlocked custom passive ability slot. All forms can now ad equip an additional passive ability. I think that's all of them. And infinite quest, get health. Me, uh, me certified. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you can hit dudes with dodge. I forgot about that. What a weird way to do that. What an inefficient quest. Oh. Well, before I spend all those tokens, uh, there's the timer. So I'm just gonna beam... Oh. Well, I guess this is the closest one to the, uh... Wait, what's that? Why are there two of those? They're too close together. Well, I guess while we're over there, we'll probably check it out. But that can wait for the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. Look at that. We're finishing the day in the same spot we started. How about that? In that case, let's make it perfect. I'll see you next time, Ernie Dog fans. Later!